Uh, what is good guys back with more SPL, we got Young Insult in the call And yeah, it's looking kind of like a mirror match I would assume that it's uh, potentially a Scarf land on his side and uh, Rock Citroen <coughs> Life or bloody Scarf uh, Specs kill you mm -hmm. So uh, Kanto is gonna vault here into his Clefable or Metagross They're both pretty weak to Metagross yeah, if this is, uh, this is, I think, AV confirmed from the damage that we see. Yeah. And he knocks off the leftovers. So this Clefable... Could be I would rocks. Guess it's, I would guess it's Calm Mind. Okay, get some up. Can you hear me? Um, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Alright, alright. Okay, so this Lander is, is probably Rocky Helmet, since it showed rocks, and Scarf Rocks is not really a thing in Auras. Okay, he's gonna T wave or flamethrower here. Yeah, trying to catch them, trying to catch the Metagross mm -hmm. or the Heatran. I'm surprised that he didn't off quick there because like now Kanto can actually like go for T wave and like you said, he just go Tran every time. Mm -hmm. He can knock off a T wave whatever he has, one of the two. Okay, okay. I guess he's just calm mind. I just want to play it safe. No. You can see a toxic here on the on the Rotom. On the Lari, okay. Is it Earthquake Lari or Surf Lari? Misses a Magnus Storm. Okay. Sick. Sucks now. Is it, is it Surf? AV Tangrus comes out, it can take any hit. Scouting for Surf, that's might be Specs damage. That's Scarf. I mean it's AV Tang and it's resisted and still did 15. So it might be Specs. Hmm. No, he's gonna go back to Clef, so he can double into Metagross here. How much did Stab Volt switch do from? Yeah, it did eight. I, I think, would yeah, I would I double into right. Metagross here for sure. Gladios. At least consider it. It's a bit risky because Kanto can predict it. Yeah, he specs confirmed. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense because like otherwise, why would you go into Ladi on a heat turn? Because Scarf Surf wouldn't do too too much. Yeah. Um, I, think should, I think he should double to like Metagross. Metagross. Mm -hmm. But what can but play can Kanto make that covers the double and the stay in? I don't think he has a play that covers everything. I think maybe like Rotom, but like not really. I think you should go land though. Yeah, just goes oh. uh, play it safe and goes Clef as a nice play on his part. And now this is um he, he, he this won't that this won't get intimidated because um it has a thing clear body before it megers. Yes. So like Lando's not really a switch in for this. Rotom is a one time switch in if it's fist stuff. Yep, okay now. That's for death round him, right? That did so much. Kanto could like Pain Split or Wisp here. Doesn't Zen like kill? Mm, I think Zen would do like fifty. Yeah. I don't think he is gonna stay in, this is uh, really nice to keep healthy and you don't wanna risk getting burned. Yeah, he's uh, clicking Willowis. He would probably just go into Tangros here. Tangro Lati. Because he doesn't want to go Lati. If he gets Lati and goes vault, it gets vaulted on, then he can get trapped. Yeah, but it's gonna get trapped anyway. Yeah, but I feel like Tang was the play there. And he has T Wave. Ooh. Ooh, so this is um, this is making me think that he's Double offensive. Status. Making me think that he's offensive Landris because T Wave Rotom is used to check Zarex if you don't have a defensive land. Uh, even though he has a Tita, which could also check Zard, but Tita can get worn down relatively easy. That could be Scarf uh, Land or Scarf Titar. I think Scarf Land on Bantar makes sense, but I know double uh, Scarf, you have seen that in the CBB game, that's definitely a thing. Now we can just vault out here, unless. I don't think Scarf Laddie would outspeed the Rotom even a bit para, because para is like super busted in Auras. We can just yeah, vault here, course. right? Well, I don't know about that, yeah. So now you can go into thing. Land on U-turn? Oh, Metagross, one of the two. Yeah. Good hammer arm here, or he could uh, ice punch. Mm -hmm. I guess Zen Headbutt is like a mid ground, but I think ice punch is fine. Okay, he meshes. Ah. So that's like the one thing that I don't think about. Gets a boost, uh, Metagross showing why it's broken. And now he has to kind of sack something. He has to pick something. He gets gonna go land or he gets some Rocky Helmet chip. Um, is if, it if Keldeo, it, it should be Helmet because it had rocks and didn't have lefties. If Keldeo, okay. um, K 
kills with six, from 60% with Hydro Pump and if Keldeo is Scarf, then a pivot into Keldeo is an option, but that would be super risky. Yeah, it's actually a good play if it's Scarf Keldeo. So I think, uh, like, Ice Punch is super obvious here. Because Keldeo doesn't really do anything. Cause, hmm. Like, I don't think he would ever T Punch here and risk uh, giving the Lando free switch. I think he would just mash or he would Ice Punch one of the two. I think he's Pursuit Metagross, he is his Pursuit. So his Sex Lando is gonna get oh some helmet. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that definitely sucks, but... Ice Punch does, still... Does Meteor Mash kill? Or, because, like, what if he doesn't have Ice Punch? Mash might probably be a... A roll if the Lando is super bulky. I don't think Lando runs much speed in Auras, right? Defensive Lando? Mm, it's it's no. not it's it not like, like 16 in, or something. Yeah, it's not like in Sun and Moon. In Sun and Moon, like you, they they go up in the speed to like 84 to speed creep other Lander with HPIs, but HPIs is not common in Auras. Yeah. It's like uh, Rock Side or Stone Age is more common, um, or sometimes even a Toxic or Knockoff. Yeah, because yeah, he would have Ice Punched the turn 12, right? Yeah, yeah he, he probably it, has. He had it. Mash and it's then probably like, it's probably like bullet punch or something. Mash, earthquake, slash, hammer, arm. Maybe Zen and then some other move. Priority. I mean, he has T Wave Rotom and probably Scarf Lando, so I don't know if he needs priority. But it's nice for the Weavile matchup. Yeah, he's a bit weak to Weavile, especially if if his Rotom has to handle other physical attackers and if his Clef is Spadef, which is I think more common in Auras, then he's a bit weak to Weavile. So bullet punch would make uh, some sense, yeah. Maybe you don't want to risk the Tigan Science. Uh, it's good for the Tigan Science too. It's actually not relatively weak to DNC. Um, like DNC can like crit fish versus Clef. Because Clef yeah. is forced to soft build spam. Like Metagross is obviously a nice check for DNC, but um, because Elf Power is not that common in ours, but Hidden Power Fire would still do a good amount. Yeah, it does like 50 or um, something. Yeah, I don't have the Kalk open, but I assume Meteor Mesh would have killed because he has switched out. What is this? Uh, it's tough calls boosted. So this makes me think that uh, he definitely has Earthquake on his Metagross. If he had Pursuits, he has a Fire play as well. If he catches Kanto on a Switch. I think he should pursue it if he has it, because like this is Kanto's Wing Kong. I mean, Kanto doesn't have a Switch in, because Rotom already got chipped. And if Lando's offensive, <laughs> it doesn't switch in. I mean, it would switch in on Earthquake. But... Actually, Kanto kind of has to... He might have to stay in because he has no switch-ins, yeah. I don't think he would off-quake here because... Hmm. Actually, he might off-quake because Kanto shouldn't risk the Lando. Look at Metagross's chin, dude. Look at that. That's painful. <laughs> this is so crazy, like... I have not, like, seen Aura as much, like, lately at all. And, like, like yeah. Metagross is, like, um, banned. And here it's just spammed every, every game, almost. Metagross is the Metagross counter. Um, <laughs> let me see. I think that he can win with his Keldeo as he loses a tie. Well, so this is what this was just a coin flip. Um, is that like game? <laughs> like I don't even know. Really Earthquake sure. obviously means he can't go turn yeah. on this. Orlando. Now since he probably doesn't have Ice Punch, he probably can't kill this. Now that uh, I think yeah. U-turn here for for here. Uh, Kanto wants to save this, obviously. And now, if this is... Okay, he goes turn. I was gonna say, Specs pump from Kelly probably doesn't kill because Clef runs the death and uh, So he's just got a Magma Storm here, I would imagine. Or Taunt. Yeah, Magma Storm. That does a lot. It gets a crit on the Rotom, so the Rotom is gonna say goodbye here with the Wait, aftermath. How much was... No, it doesn't. How much, was, how much was his Lando at before? Um, we see that the Heatron is faster than the Rotom because it gets its leftovers first. So he can, if he only has Magma Storm off port to Toxic, then he has to risk another Magma Storm here, um, as he does have to risk any hits. Um, which turn are you talking about? Uh, the one where he, uh, it was he went uh, he dodged the Meteor Bash with Lando. Oh, it was at fifty. I he was think. at fifty. He was at like fifty-two, and yeah. he lived. He lived the Meteor Bash there. If he was defensive. So I guess he was just pivoting. No, 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 he wasn't. They, they, did you cut without or without Intimidate? Without, yeah. 
Because Antimid wasn't up because he has a plus one medium match boost. I uh, know, yeah. Okay. The two, uh, 240 defense Lando takes really, it. Yeah, this time he makes the pivot that, that we talked about earlier on the Caladio. That is probably a Scarf. And he's just gonna pump here. Actually. Maybe if Scald kills, that's the play, but I, I don't think Scald kills. You have to calc for that. I would, say, I would could assume. Be, could be, it could be Modest Scarf or something. I would assume that Scald is like 45. So yeah, he has to pump exactly. And okay, now. Yeah, scarf. Damn, Scarf is a threat since this doesn't have a Roost. I think Kanto can just fire off a Draco here. Um, yeah, he's the pick one. Sucks his lot. He slash predicts the Surf, but yeah, Draco was pretty free. Um, because Trell would have taken a good amount from Rocks plus Draco. And now Tita is going to come out. Yep. And Tita is probably going to go for like Crunch or Edge here. Uh, I guess, sack land I guess Pursuit has a potential play because he need, wants the trend. Uh, pursuing trend would mean it's guaranteed and like... If it yeah, switches means, it might be in Draco. Like Lottie, yeah, that means like Lottie gets a kill. Yeah, if it's okay, um, cool. mid rocks up and everything after Pursuit, if it's banded then it might be in Draco range even. Yeah, it should be. Because I assume that's a um, more offensive trend or was it... Yeah, I don't think he's... I don't think he's Spidef. Spidef doesn't run map, I think, in Auras. Yeah. I mean, Kelly is the only potential switch in, but that's why the pursuit is kind of obvious. Do you think you should sack Lander or keep it as a sack and just go Keldio? Mm. Yeah, but he's a stone at your pursuit here because, like, you want big damage. <laughs> yeah, like, I would not go with Crunch for the baby damage. Like, if that Keldio comes out, like, I'm making sure that boy takes a huge hit. Nah, I think he, I think he should Crunch, definitely. I mean, I don't think he's gonna. Oh. Does he need Lander for anything? Lando's only nice for for Metagross for Intimidate and Helmet, and it's nice for. I think it's just good to have for a sack for Latios. And it's good for opposing Lando for um, so he doesn't get off quick spammed. Obviously he has a Tangros, but Tangros can get in range of, uh, like it can get in red, get in the range where it cannot switch into off quick anymore into two K range. Hmm. But Kanto should have this game. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, you see, um, they're talking this more to shit. Eternal says like this is like the worst meta, and CB is like this is the only good meta. Stays in breaking the pursuit. As okay, and so knew he would crunch Goldfather. Okay, so now because he couldn't like afford to miss. Yeah, yeah. Tita does to rocks, and yeah, I don't think he's gonna switch. Now, Metagross comes out, or yeah. And he clicks. Probably just off quick because he doesn't want to uh, predict, and then he can just mash the next turn. I think he's Ooh, gonna pivot into. Here, keep yeah, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say that. If That's he has, really good. If he has like thunder oh. punch. Oh, ooh, goaded. I was gonna say if he has thunder punch, that would be a potential play. And then it's obviously even better. Now Kanto can just go to Clef here. I mean, doesn't he just lose? Like, he has to see. make a play. He has to make a play like double. Yeah, like, he can trend. double the trend, but like, isn't that super low? Yeah. Oh, doesn't that... this leave EQ anyway, and you can just mash again? Yeah, you can I guess? Oh well, yeah, that's super tough for for he. I don't see how he can win at all. What's that? What's, what 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 hex was there? The crit on the Rotom. I don't think there was any hack. And with Madman Storm, but it didn't matter too much, I think. And yeah. so what was there? Didn't he like miss a mash versus something? Oh yeah, he missed the mash on the switch to Lando that one turn. Wait, who missed Kanto? Yeah, Kanto. Oh, okay, okay. So I thought it was Hex against here. Then it's all good because uh, Kanto probably still wins this even with, with that miss. So he knocks off a Scarf, I assume? Yep. Now, you turn pretty obvious here. He knocks. I need his U-turn. He probably wanted the helmet off the land, or I don't know. Actually, Lando would have died anyway after rocks. So u was free. I don't get that, yeah. Now, I mean, I don't think it matters. He has the game, right? Yeah, you should. He can just U-turn into Metagross here, or he can also just U-turn into Clef. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He made this time out. Also, um, yeah, like he has a... He has Earthquake on his meta, he doesn't have to like risk anything. 
Oh god. <laughs> he doesn't have to like risk missing hammer arm versus the versus the heat trend. I mean I don't think that like I think he accepted his loss. I don't think that was a timeout loss. Yeah. Any GG's but this is like out? this is like kinda weird because uh like the game Kanto won the speed that versus here, right? That was a big turn. So like um the game kinda come down to that coin flip, I think. Like I didn't like that too too much that it Like that's the reason why I'm like glad Metagross is banned in Sadamon Oyo, because like how do you check that beast if you if you don't have a scissor, what yeah. are you gonna do? But yeah. If he kept if he kept Keldeo, he had a chance. Because then had Bow was free that turn. Yeah. Um because I killed Orlando at 15, so... I feel like Kanto was in a favorable position anyway. And yeah. he kind of had to had make like a risky attacks. play because he was a bit in the back, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be back later. We have, um, I think, Feeman is playing. I forgot versus who. And we have uh, some black-white. And yeah, I think... Dice and... Who? This, uh, Who's the black-white? I think luck over skill, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I think... Uh, Shouts to Intel for being the, my guest, and I'll see you guys mm -hmm. next time.